Okay, so welcome back here. We gave this overnight to uh, dry out here. And as you can see, it has dry, dried out, except for a part right here. We can see that it's slightly darker than the rest of it. When you put your finger on it, you can feel the uh, moisture st still, still in there. But for the most part, these base coats did a great job here. So what we're left with now um, is, um, is like some of these humps here. Now this hump was caused because we pushed all that mud in there and then it mushroomed back from the back of the hole out, okay? Now what you could have done is, before this started to set, is, is lightly run your blade over it and that would take away that, but that's right when it sets, okay? Um, now I purposely didn't do that because I want to show you guys how I get rid of that hump before we go to tape these joints here. And also, we have um, a void in the top of the crown and, and the drywall. And you can't really get a screw back, 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 back here. And you, and you really don't want to caulk, caulk that either. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tape off the crown here and we're going to pack or stuff as much hard setting mud be, behind there to fill that gap. Because if, if, if you don't, um, then there's more chance of that, of like the caulk that is going to crack and like stuff like that. So I have my four inch blade here and we're going to start by shaving down this hump right here. Because if you, if you just try to tape on the top of that, then this is going to be lower than like the rest of the ceiling and, there, and there's going to be a hump and there's going to be a hump there. So. I have my blade here. I'm gonna just come into it. I'm gonna shave it down. Okay, so I just did that area there. Now I'll do this here. Okay, so that's that that got rid of that. Now so the camera can see, I'll come that way towards the camera. And I'm not, and I'm not scraping that hard either. I'm just scraping. Just a little bit, and as you can see, the hump is gone, and the remnants have fallen to the floor here. And now I'm just going to drag my blade this way, and there's a hump here. Okay, there's kind of a hard edge here because when I did this, I didn't taper off this side, but it's, it's not going to be a problem because we still have to put more mud over here. Um, but what I'll do is just take my knife and kind of shave now that there. Okay. Come over here now and do the same thing to this area here that I did taper off with the knife. And there's a hump right here. And I'm going to get rid of this right here. Okay. Now, I kind of put some mud here. And it's blocking this, ed this entrance here. So I kind of want to get rid of this. This mud. So we can see that gap now. Okay. Okay. Um, and as you can see, I kind of hit in, well, when we cut this, the caulk out, we kind of cut into the wood here, but I'll show you what to do to uh, fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tape here. And we're just going to tape off the crown so that we don't get the mud all over that there when when we go to pack to pack that in there. Um, so this is what we're going to use as tape. This is an alternative to paper tape. It's not really a, a, a mesh tape, but um, it's real lightweight and it's real thin. And the name is Fiber Fuse. Okay, and they claim that. This paper tape all, or the uh, paper tape alternative 
all the benefits of paper tape with superior te technical performance. They say that it's 70% stronger for crack re resistance. Um, the uh, open fiber stru structure for better bonding. It provides mold and mildew resistance. And lastly, it eliminates the uh, blisters and the uh, bubbles. So you can use this um, on, on, on all your joints and, and your butt joints. And it also comes pre-creased. It's hard to see, but there is a crease in it, so you can use it for the corners here. So I have my tape right, right here, but first we're going to uh, take our mud here. Now this is the uh, Easy Sand, it, again it's the same stuff that I use for like, the corners here. And I mix this up um, probably like 20 minutes ago, so it's going to set um, in like, tw like 20 minutes, so we have to work fast with this. So, um, I'm going to take some mud there and I'm going to pack it. I'm going to pack as much as I can into the back there. I'll just do it a few more times there. Okay, so we just packed a bunch of this setting type mud into the uh, into the void up on the crown. Okay, so now I'm gonna run some mud over this joint here to uh, be taped. I'm gonna reorganize this. This stuff is real easy. Yeah, you, you, you with uh, this stuff, you don't have to press that hard. Not like the pay the uh, paper tape, where you have to really press hard to get it to uh, to uh, to uh, embed it. But this stuff goes on real easy, and again, it's not that thick, so it's not gonna. Press out. I'm just going very easy over this. And with our last piece here. Try to fill in 
our last hoe. Okay, and then we have this edge here. So we'll take our mud, I'll reorganize it, put it to hog, give it a little shake that extends it. I can effectively load up in the middle of this six inch blade right here. Come over here. And just be careful when going into where you just tape there. Um, there's still a void here, but I just filled it in with that there. And we have two screws here that I've got to fill on the first coat there. Um, so I'll reorganize this. Put that to a ball, you give it a little shake, and I'll put that down there. Now, what well, lastly we want to do is uh, remove this tape here. Okay, so the tape effectively it uh, it uh, protected the crown, and you can see uh, I want the camera to come up here and see what we're left with there. So there's a little bit of like a mess here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drag my finger down it just like I would if I was caulking. And that's going to effectively push the mud into that void right there. So we still have like a little bit of a gap right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and get my mud again into it and that loads it up on my finger there and I'm just gonna do that as if I was caulking and just wipe the crown now when I did that I also filled in that void that that I cut out I, that I when I was using the knife to cut out the caulk I, I accidentally gashed in, into the wood and I just filled that without my finger there. It's going to need like like one more coat to effectively fill, fill it. Um, and I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to fill. There's a little bit of a void here or it starts here. So I'll just come into it like that. If you get any on the crown, just wipe it with your finger, or if you have a, a wet sponge, will will all work too. Okay. Um, so again, so this is gonna probably start to set in like ten minutes. Um, and we're just going to let this dry out and then we'll be back to, uh, to skim the whole thing. So until the next time. Mm -hmm.